So Don, what's the purpose of this exercise? Um, just to ask them, we, we came here filming in July 2020 and the manager, Paul, um, told us that they weren't going to use formaldehyde and that they were reorientating their stocking system this year, but a couple of weeks later they started using formaldehyde, which this whole um, this whole process, this this um, focus on Loch Trelay kicked off last year when there was video footage of a local resident of the use of formaldehyde and it went viral on YouTube. This is a carcinogen. There's a petition signed by nearly 10,000 people to the Cabinet Secretary Rosanna Cunningham, organised by Corin Smith. It was on the front page of the Open Times just a couple of weeks ago. So this is a huge issue. This shows how toxic this industry is. So if you're buying Scottish salmon, it's been chemically embalmed and they're using formaldehyde. This is the stuff Damien Hurst pickles his sheep in, his, his sharks in. We shouldn't be eating this stuff, it's toxic. Um, this is apparently, the manager told me, the fish farm here in this uh, smolt farm at Loch Trelay goes to a, a, a salmon farm in Shetland operated by Grieg Seafood. So that will probably get sold through Tesco or Sainsbury's or Asda. Don't know who, but and, and, and Cames who farm here are RSPCA assured so they're certified as welfare friendly. Is there any uh, restriction on how much formaldehyde they can use? I think SEPA have some restrictions, but the actual reporting and monitoring of what they use on a daily basis doesn't seem to be there. SEPA is supposed to be a watchdog, but it's more of a lapdog. We think uh, SEPA's um, the man in charge of this area, Ben Benedict Tustin, his his brother-in-law works for the company Cames, so there's there's definitely a close relationship between the salmon farming industry and uh, the regulator. truck that's used to transport toxic chemicals. There's various government regulations on the transport of hazardous goods. Not sure that Kames is following them. This is in Loch Trelague where we know through video footage that they've used formaldehyde, a carcinogen here in huge quantities. So this is the, the containers, four containers full of formaldehyde solution. This is formalin, this is a carcinogen. We've seen video footage of this piled up at Maui and Scottish Salmon Company sites, also at Cames Land Base, but here they are using it on Scottish salmon. Fish feed can be sourced from South America, from anchovies, They're draining the world's oceans uh, of, of wild fish to, to fuel the expansion of salmon farming via fish oil and fish meal, which is using up vast quantities of the world's fish supply. We know companies are going down to Antarctica searching for krill for use in fish feed. We know that companies linked to deforestation in Brazil via the use of soya in fish feed happens. Um, EWAS feed, additives, vitamin D. They put uh, artificial colorings in salmon feed. It's got fish meal, wheat, gluten, horse beans, guar gum. They also put uh, a flame retardant in there to, to stop the, um, the the fish feed exploding in transit from predominantly from uh, South America where they're robbing Pedro to pay Paul. This is the Label Rouge standards. Stuart Cannon, the boss of this company, was awarded a prize a couple of years ago 
for his leadership of the industry, but we don't think that using carcinogenic chemicals directly into a freshwater lock is leading the way. So this is an industry that's operating in public waters using cancer-causing chemicals. This is a legitimate public interest issue. Calling on SEPA to do greater monitoring and testing, banning the use of formaldehyde, calling for a public register of all salmon farms like this one for toxic chemicals, not just for formaldehyde. The industry wants to use the neonicotinoid imidacloprid, that's a, a bee killing chemical. A lot of these chemicals, emamectin benzoate, azimuth, phosphorus, peroxide, delta methrin, peer reviewed science has shown they're lethal to, to seaweed, to marine life, to shellfish. So I don't know how many fish are in here, whether there's 50,000, 100,000, they're smolts. They're farmed in fresh water here and then they're sold to be ungrown by other companies such as Greek Seafood. Kames, this company has a very close relationship with uh, Maui. There's the sock, the pipe that sucks out the uh, dead fish. They'll fall to the bottom of the cage and get scooped out, sucked out every day. We've got video footage from Kames land base where the mortalities are stored and ensiled and macerated. I think they end up as fertilizer and silaged. This is shocking. Dead and dying farm salmon destined for the supermarkets after they're on grown in open net cages. So this is a uh, some sort of be saprinella or some kind of fungus, but this is a fish that's been RSPCA assured. They're dying in the thousands at this site. We know that fish experience pain, they're left to suffer, belly up in the water, dying, suffocating. Mm -hmm. 